Hey guys, welcome to today's charm reading. I hope you're having a wonderful day and uh, welcome to my channel, Lighting Your Sunshine, where we like to shine a light on things and um, go within and empower ourselves. So as I mentioned, this is a charm reading. So I got my polar bear bag, with all my little charms in here. And so let's just shake it up. You guys can see. Okay, so right off the bat. As I um, pulled them all out, the strawberries popped out again. I think that happened in last week's reading as well. But um, I remember my glasses today. Charms are a little bit smaller, so oh, they're filthy. All right, let's just keep keep going. Um, and then the song that came to me was "Strawberry Wine," which was like Dina Carter back when. I don't know, I remember I just got my first CD player, so that is kind of dating myself. <laughs> In all fairness, we waited a little bit before we got our first CD player, but not too long, so <laughs> that's how long ago that was. I can't even remember what that song was about, though, because I'm not the biggest country fan. Actually, I don't enjoy country at all, <laughs> so... The fact that they gave me that song, I am a little confused. Oh, these glasses. So. Oh, and I didn't bring my iPad to Google the lyrics. So maybe that's for someone. If you feel called to that song or you know it, or just Google the words, there might be a little bit of something in there for you. And so we tap in this is a reading for someone who feels like the black sheep but it's not a black sheep situation I always need something to point it's not a black sheep situation um you actually are the black swan and so if anyone who knows the story about the black swan all the other white swans you know didn't like them or the ugly duckling is that what that is the ugly duckling And so the duckling didn't hang out or didn't get along with the other ducks, right? And the other ducks were like mean to it. And then it turned out once it like grew, it turned into a swan. Well, the other ones were ducks. And so this is someone, this reading is for someone who is really stepping into their uniqueness. And not only that, like most swans are white this is the black swan so I'm feeling like this is like you know the psychedelic sheep of the family kind of vibe energy I'm getting um big open heart now and and that's because you went through so much um adversity I feel like your shadow game your transmutation of the dark is strong right because you've got so many keys here key 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 like you literally anything that comes to you any adversary adversary uh adversity um it's just like an anthill to you it's like yep get got it because you've got the wisdom right and i feel like you they keep just showing me a very playful energy a very happy childish your inner child is just like I don't know if you hid your inner child away and that's where all these keys were and you went and got your inner child and now you're just in your oomph and you're happy and you're loving life. But uh, yeah, you're definitely in your element. Um, I guess based on whichever way we hold this is what it could be. But no, it's not even saying specifics. It's just saying you're in your element. Um, jumping for joy. We got the... Um, the dolphins so let me just that's the overview there's multiple opportunities coming 
Let me see here. I see five opportunities coming to someone and it's uh it's in all different areas some of them are planned like you're actively working on them some of them are owed to you and some of them are just complete surprises and i see you like <laughs> one of these is a huge wish fulfillment and you're you're like standing on i you i see you standing there just on your foot like uh like it it almost doesn't feel like it would happen right like you're you're crossing your fingers you're standing on one foot you're like twisting even you're like your tongue you're like i wish i wish i wish and so spirit just really wants you to say like have faith like there's lots of cycles and chapters that need to happen first in order for it to manifest to you. Um, some things need to change, right? And so the more and more that you keep, you always have a choice. And this one is almost, as I mentioned earlier, you're very good at taking the dark and transmuting it. But this is, I'm now seeing a battle between light and dark. And so... Feel like a lot has been thrown to you that coulda shoulda woulda made you bitter but instead it made you better right you didn't choose the heartbreak you didn't choose the petty revenge you didn't choose you know those kind of things spirits just saying because you did that there is some things that just need to be swept swept away and so i feel like all of these ones we need to draw a line okay this is the line. This is what needs to be swept away. And this is what is to come. And so here I see the balloons. And the balloons are really showing me the, the movie Up. Do you remember that one? Oh, it's such a cute movie. Can you see? This is where, yeah, yeah. Can you see? A... Not that it really truly matters. This is, okay, there, you got them all. Um, right, I can show up a card and things, but it's hard to show in the detail. Steve is actually helping me figure out a better system. We're trying to get something where you can really see because I really enjoy the charms just as much as cards or just doing a channeled message. But anyways, we're getting distracted. Let's talk about what needs to go away first. And so from that, there are two things that you were working on in a partnership it looks like it involves others um hmm okay these ones go together these ones all go together okay let's see what the group bundled message is because mm -hmm. Okay, something that needs to go away, that is being taken away before all this good change comes, is uh, it seemed like this was a really magical opportunity that you were working with someone. Um, it was, like I'm not picking up romantic or anything, it's more like a brother, a sister type love. And, uh, you know, it, it, it kind of just doesn't have the depth to continue, right? It's more like, um, just everything's happy all the time. Blah, blah, blah. Like, and it just is like, I don't know. It, it just isn't evolving you more because it's really, it's very childish. So it's something that, I don't know, maybe it was loyalty, someone from your childhood or something like that. But that, that kind of needs to go only because it doesn't have any depth or substance. It is very immature and it's time to release that, right? And, uh, oh, this one is how you release it. And so in order to release it, it is, uh, I feel like you... kind of settled right it's like 
out of loyalty or something like that. And so it, the, whatever this partnership is or this that needs to be taken away, this immature thing, it, it kind of um, depletes your confidence. It is not something that empowers you. So once you step into your confidence, then you'll be able to release that, right? Like it's in the past, let childish things go. The second thing is a little bit, um, the second thing that you need to understand in order to, for this, is you need to understand that the dark or the, the adversity, adversity, why do I keep, why do they keep, they keep telling me this word that I, my mouth doesn't want to say, but it's like, um, you need to learn the shadow part of whatever this is when we get into let's go into what this is first you need to let it you need to turn a loop new leaf you need to find the sweetness in whatever thing kind of sideswiped you or jaded you or whatever right um and getting the word stalking whatever it is that you're like hyper focused on the past it's time to let that kind of go it, it's like you don't need to even check up on them. You don't care anymore. Like you, you got to turn the new leaf and, and let that go and step out on your own two feet. Um, and so this is talking about into this. And here we got that strawberry and strawberry I just realized. So we got to let go of the Oh, all the strawberries ended up on things that you need to let go. What does that even mean? <clears throat> like strawberry. Okay, so what this is saying is you have to learn about your first heartbreak or first whatever it is that kind of, right? You were very young. So when you're younger, you don't have as much life experience to kind of like bounce back and forth and things like that, um, right? So it, it came as a huge blow. And so that's learning about the sweet things that came from that. Because if that didn't happen, then none of this would happen. And and this is this is the good stuff, right? We don't have these like little strawberries. We have this full on heart full of love. And I'm always going to talk about love because I love love. And uh, the, we have the key. <laughs> They're telling me that it's, um, right, this is, you need to learn the shadow part. You need to understand what you grew, the sweetness from the shadow part, because I see someone who maybe is still kind of stuck on listening to sad songs, and it keeps bringing you back there, like listening to that song. She's reminiscing about a love at 17, and it was her first taste of love, but that's okay. Like your first taste, you're like, wow, these strawberries blow my mind. And um, it kind of stops you from ever getting to try pineapple or coconut or, you know, there's tropical ones. And then, oh, what's that one? There's one thing that I, I just love, a permacin. <laughs> I love permacins. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's really um, taking this sad tune, because I got the violin there. And it's transforming it into a, a lesson, a blessing, right? Um, I'm getting a lot of holiday. You know, when you get to the holidays, it, it kind of makes you think what you have. It makes you really just reflect and evaluate on what is how it has been going on in your life, right? You take stock, you take inventory. You're like, I got this big juice of this, I got that. And and so this is really saying around the holidays, not to not to reminisce so much in the past and keep yourself in these cycles that are just you're not that person anymore. It's time to get your confidence because look how much more there is compared to what needs to be let go. And in this here we got a little Martian with the strawberry again with the present. And so it's just really now for you to step out and be your unique self. So step into your element, find the beauty in things, 
Why? Because you're wiser. You've learned so much. It's like rising above. Now, now rather than just all this bread that's like, I don't know why, but the fruit, they're showing me the apple, right? Like lust, lusty type things, right? First taste of love, but it's like, do you even know what love was? That was just your first like step in it, right? And so now, now we've got these really beautiful, intricate, detailed, elegant, um, you're like, hell no, this like skull and crossbones is upside down. It's like, we ain't ever dealing with those. Like you, you, you're building a very strong foundation. I see like wishes reaching for the stars. So as I mentioned that you had five opportunities coming, um, where are they? See, I think you thought you wanted these other things. And so once you let that go, that's when actually the more intricate, you need to simplify, right? So I think five, like I said, there's five things. You're like, I want this and I want this and I want this and I want this. But when you simplify, and so all these keys, these ones are pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when I look at these keys, I want those keys. Those keys are way cooler. Why? Because this key has simplified. This one literally just looks like a branch, but it has a heart. I would rather have the heart than the lust. This one has a crown. This one's royal. This one is, it's just royalty. And, and what I'm getting is not so much royalty as in the king and queen aspect here, but divine. And this one, I don't know what this one is. Oh, it's unity and coming together. So what were these ones that we're letting go? Honestly, it just looks like it has like so many pictures and details, but when I get up close, it's just, it's not quite there. It looks much more than it is. It's kind of like, eh. And then this one, this one's a wheel and it's keeping you trapped on the wheel. And, and that's why you got to free yourself and get the confidence. But I see you shining. Your light is going to expand, right? You're a superstar. This is a superstar moment. I just see bliss. I see happiness. And okay, what's standing up now is... Uh, fast as fast can be, you can't catch me. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. So it's like once you let these little things go, right? And it's huge. When I first moved them all, it seemed like so much you had to let go of, right? But if you put them into little chunks, it, it's easy to let, it's easy to manage and deal with, right? And so what are we at here? All right, spirit, we got to wrap it up. So please, if we have this message for the collective, They're showing me the story. Uh, well, first they, they played, uh, guess who's back, back again. And then I saw the crown and then I went to the paper bag princess, which she is a super dirty girl, which is kind of like here. I just feel like maybe you were in lack of money, poverty kind of mindset. And she has this paper bag on and she, but she has the crown and then she goes and befriends the dragon, right? And, and, it, and all I'm getting from that, like they're not going too much into that detail, but they showed me that story, is um, she, you're, you're going to find yourself in communities and circles that you never thought that you would have the key to or access to step into that. Um, but it's divinely guided. I see some people, tropical, I see tropical destinations and, and just living a more simple and happy life, right? The three things that are coming are stepping into your divinity, finding real love, not this lust. And the other one is total connection and community. And so at the end of the thing, right, we always think we want these things, right? Money, houses, cars, those kind of things. 
but these things are coming into your life once you let these things go. And, and this is just so much more fulfilling because you get to be your unique self. You don't have to dim your light down. You don't have to shine. You're very smart and you get to use your knowledge to help others. Um, they're showing me a boat just going back and forth with the waves. So what's up with the boat? I'm really picking up on travel for some of you, like far travel, not so much just going to the next town, but overseas and type things. Um, rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, the, the boat won't tip over. No matter what comes, because you want to transmute so much that you, like literally you can go through any storm going forward and you can make it beautiful and everyone's like wow like i want to go through a storm <laughs> i mean not not it doesn't it was hard but it's almost like you made it look so graceful and so elegant and so right spirit that that's all you want let me look at this last one The answer after you let go of all of this is peace, peace and love. And that is huge because I feel like that's something that many people have been searching for a really long time. So if, if you're feeling stuck and you're scared to let these things go and you keep reminiscing of the past and you know, I think some people take loyalty to a fault, right? Um, but it's okay to let go of those who are immature and, you know, it, it, they're fun. Like they're like, they're playful. I don't see in this one situation, any negativity, but it, it just isn't helping you anymore. It's, it's actually just keeping you very trapped and, and you should have that depth. You need these darker lessons to grow and evolve. And so that you can change and transmute at the winter and the holidays and things, right? Try not to get too attached on what you have and what you don't have, right? This is about you stepping into your own zone, being your, oh, that was a cool bird, being your own unique self and stepping into your element. So these are the stepping stones to get to here. You go, and then and there's just so much water and flow and stability and we got like even the rocking horses they'll never tip over we got the seahorse over here we got the starfish like it's just you, it's peace nothing will pull you out of your peace i see this heartbreak one but it, it's even in reverse it's like i don't even feel like that right it's stepping into your confidence and in your heart and realizing that this is actually something quite beautiful because this, this led to this. So, all right, that's it for today. And so if this reading spoke to you, I would appreciate it if you could hit the like button or let me know even better down in the comments or reach out. Just, I love hearing everybody's feedback and I hope you have a wonderful day. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.